Good morning class, good morning everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create and save a new document in Microsoft Word. Okay, so yesterday we have uh, discussed on keyboarding and word processing. Okay, so focus on keyboarding which is uh, you're going to memorize the proper finger placement when you type okay so let us have your first activity in microsoft word okay so you open this one as your guide activity one okay so you can you can maximize the window next so we're going to tile two windows so that the one is your guide and the other window is your uh, activity okay so after opening the guide you are going to type at the search box the word word to search for microsoft word okay so click word up and then click blank document okay so this time in your activity one the settings actually for the default in microsoft word is all the margins are one inch and the paper is short meaning 11 in height and 8.5 is the width or letter so to start your activity one you can simply follow these steps you point the mouse pointer at the title bar here at the top and then you hold down your left mouse button hold down do not release and drag to the right up to the leftmost of your screen position you can see it tiles a window and you can see a li vertical line at the center that's actually tile a window so release your mouse okay you have three windows open so i want you to click the guide this activity one here as your guide for a paperless activity okay so you can also zoom out this one if you want to have a clear view of all the contents of your guide or you can click the plus sign to zoom in and you can scroll up and down okay so to start your activity one here at the blank document you just simply click here at the typing area at the top you can also zoom out by clicking the minus to uh, see your typing area and the whole of your whole hand paper Okay, so this time this is your band paper short band paper or letter so to start creating your activity number one to simply set it to click here to maximize first click here and I want you to click the no spacing click the no spacing that's okay no no spacing is selected and then click the store or you just simply drag again on the side tile the window okay so this is this page is set to no spacing just like the your guide okay, so now you can click center then set the size to 12 12 is the font size here and here select the times new roman same text as with your guide okay so this time to type capital letters press caps lock then you type activity one okay to bold face you highlight the text position the bar pointer at the leftmost of the text you want to bold and then you click the b here make your text bold okay so so that you can follow or why see we what you see is what you get so you just simply follow this on your guide okay, then you press enter thrice uh, then type selecting font name and font size and then you press enter thrice again one two three and then you type since caps lock is on you turn off the caps lock type only one capital letter you hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then type c and then character with thus times new roman okay so open parenthesis is at the uppercase of nine so you hold down the shift key and then press the uh, open parenthesis then type 10 then shift close parenthesis so as you notice you can zoom in this one to have a clear view this is bold face because you can you will determine that this text is bold face because the act the active here is bold meaning it's gray is active so you can turn off the bold face by simply highlighting and then click again the bold face or b 
So this time, since your guide is not bold, is set to bold. Okay, then highlight again. We forget to set this to 10 in size. So meaning these numbers are the font size or the size of the text. Okay, so you can also zoom in this one. Do not worry if it doesn't look the same as in size with your left and right window. Just make sure that the settings here are times new man and 10 because zoom in is no effect actually on the the size of your text in the actual printing okay so next to maximize your time in creating this activity one since uh, it's focus only on selecting the font name or the style of the font and the size of the font or font size so we can copy and paste this one by simply position your eye beam at the leftmost of your text then hold down your leftmost button then highlight okay after you highlight you can click the copy here this one this is copy and you can see the screen tip this put a copy of the selection on the clipboard so you click copy and then before you click paste you position first the bar pointer where you want to paste the text so to position you click at the last portion of the text here and then you press enter first to move down okay then click paste okay so you have already to copy so again you click paste and then you click paste you have already four lines of text so this time you can simply change the font size because all the text are the same so you can maximize this one or zoom in okay so you can highlight the second line and then click the this is 12 so you click 12 and then you change the font size to 12 okay so this one you highlight this line is 14 so you click 14 and then you change the size here and set to 14 so here highlight is set this one to 16 and then you type 16 here okay so here is this one you position your bar pointer at the left side of the text you want to erase if you want to use the backspace because the backspace erases character to the left if you want to use delete position your bar pointer at the left side of the text because the delete key erases character to the right okay so this is 16 okay so this time you are now on on, on the character with Arial so to uh, make it fast with your activity one you can simply maximize your time by simply highlighting the first and then, then you click copy and then before you paste again you position where you want to paste so click at the last portion you press enter thrice one two three so now you can press actually the shortcut key which is control v on the keyboard vine okay and you can also the same you just click paste and you can see here control plus b that means you hold down the control and press the b to paste so you click this one and then now you can simply change because all the font size are correct okay so just simply need to type the Arial or to change this times new roman you highlight to erase Arial then space and you can also click you can also edit by doing this by simply clicking at the right portion of the text you want to erase and then you can use backspace if you want if you are comfortable then type the word Arial same here you can you can highlight to make to edit faster shift area then here shift area okay so you are done with that next you can you can also copy this one 
highlight, then copy, and then position where you want to paste. Here. Enter once, then paste. Click paste. Okay. So, all you need is to change this one to... Actually, this this is not Courier New. This is Old English. So, you change this one to Old English. So, here, correction. Old English. The type of text or the font style. So, again, Old English here. Here, and here, okay, then you highlight this one, this is 14, this is 16, okay, so you highlight and change the font size to old English so if you cannot find directly here to make it faster to search for the font style you can type old English if you know the name so this is the old English text so you just click this one to select that font okay so to save your first activity you just simply click the file here you're done with your activity one so do not forget to save for printing and checking of your output for your performance task you click file you click save us this is how to save your document if you're done uh, creating save us and then you can click this PC then I want you to save this one to local desk D. So, or you can create a folder to segregate your files. Okay, so you can click browse to browse for the folder where you want to save. And then our syntax for naming files here in the file name box here. You erase this one. Here in the file name box is the assigned name to your Microsoft Word document or the file name Okay, so You can our syntax in naming files is your last name Ijo apelido Last name is a type and then your first name You type your first name and then the grade and section for instance seven uh, for instance only uh, Galileo or Einstein and then the last one is the activity number activity one okay so this is this is our syntax for naming files so on the next activity the same you type your last name is apelido then your first name and then next seven and then your section and then activity two with all the activities up to activity number 10 that is our uh, syntax for naming files so that i can easily sort and segregate your files okay so this time this will save on the documents folder so i want you to save on local desk d here in your computer but we're going to create a Google Drive for all your output. So for the backup of your all uh, output in your performance task. And I'm going to see the link for our Google Drive. Okay, so you click local SD. And then this time on local SD, I want you to create your folder. You click new folder. So this your new folder will be created on local SD. So, you can type your last name for your uh, folder. Uh, for instance,
Okay, so for instance, that one, this is your folder. Then if you want to save this file to your folder, so you double click your folder. Okay, so after double clicking, so here at the path, you can see that on local SD, on the Valisteros folder, this file will be saved. So, okay, so you click save to save your first activity. So, to look for your file, again, for the next meeting, you can actually uh, retrieve that one by simply clicking this folder at the taskbar. You can see this one, the file explorer. You click this one, and then you look for local disk D here. And then you can actually find here, there, you can search. Okay, so here you can search. This is your activity one. So, that is our uh, activity one in Microsoft Word 2018. So, thank you so much for watching.